going to make the perfect gathers and we're just going to gather this piece of fabric at the top here but you would use gathers for um, dresses ruffles of any kind um, sometimes on sleeves there's lots of different things you might use a gathering stitch for so first thing we're going to do is come to our machine and we're going to change our stitch length to the highest it will go so we want it to be as wide as possible um, and then we're not going to change our type of stitch it's just going to be a regular straight stitch we're going to load our fabric and I'm just sewing from the side here we've loaded our fabric we have our stitch at the highest stitch we can go or the highest um, length we can go and it's just a straight stitch and we're going to start I like to start at a quarter of an inch so just kind of right at the edge of the um, sewing foot and we're just going to sew straight across we leave the tails of our thread long so when we get to the end we're not back stitching we're just pulling our threads out so we have nice long tails and you can see how wide those stitches are so we did one row the perfect gathers has two rows so I'm gonna go ahead and stitch a second row the second row of stitches again I line my foot up right up against that uh, first row of stitches and I just stitch across same way I did the first time So you can see my two rows, they're not quite even because I'm trying to do this with my phone. But um, So now I have my double stitch line, two basting stitches if you will, and I have long tails on each side of my fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my front um, tails from my back tails and hopefully you can kind of see that. I'm going to take my bobbin tails and I'm just going to pull them and you can see how it just gathers it up and I can pull from either side if you're going to have um, gathers on like a long skirt or something then you'll want to be able to pull from both sides that's why you want your um, sorry I had to find it here that's why you want tails on both sides because you can always cut those tails later. But just look how beautiful those um, gathers are. And you can have them real close together or far apart, but they just make really beautiful um, gathers when you do two rows. You can do a single row. They just aren't quite as even. For a lot of years I did a single row of gathers, but putting the two together just really makes a big difference in how nice your gathers look. So that's our lesson on how to gather fabric.